until one day, a shadow passed over the Green Army. Rhaenyra had sent not an army, but her former mother by law, Rhaenys, and her dragon, Maelys. As her ancestor had done at the Field of Fire, Rhaenys gleefully began to incinerate Sir Criston's army. But Aegon had set a trap, and Rhaenys had flown right into it. As Rhaenys and Maelys blanketed Sir Criston's troops in dragon flame, two other dragons rose into the sky. Aemon on Vagar, and King Aegon himself on the gleaming sunfire. To her credit, Rhaenys didn't flee. Dragon fought dragons, and a second sun blossomed in the sky. When the smoke cleared, only Aemond and Vagar stood uninjured. Sunfire, the most magnificent dragon in the world, had one of its wings almost completely torn from its body. Trapped beneath Sunfire was the king himself, broken and burned so badly in places that his armor had fused onto his flesh. His body survived, but his mind was given over to milk of the poppy. Meles had been torn to shreds, and her rider, Rhaenys, was a pile of ash. <laughs>